And we're now pleased to welcome on James Ferris of The Breeze, and he is the editor of the Madison Business Review. James, thank you for being here with us today. Colby, it's a pleasure to be on. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. And so I just want to first start off, can you explain for anyone who might not know what the Madison Business Review is? Of course. So the Madison Business Review is a student-led, business-focused publication serving the JMU and Harrisonburg communities. We launched on April 1st in the middle of the pandemic to keep students and alumni informed on business news, the stock market, and to boost financial literacy in our community. We also wanted to give current students a voice so that they can share their insights with the community. So we're launching a Future of Work series Monday, and we have a lot of really cool things coming up. I'm very thankful for the support so far, and I'm really excited to see what our students continue to churn out. Yeah, yeah, great. And so with JMU obviously moving classes online fully last Tuesday and the, everything with the pandemic, what is kind of, do you think is the economic impact for some of these local businesses that, I mean, depend on JMU students for a large part of their revenue? Yeah, it's a great question, Colby. I definitely, I, I think first of all, I wanna say it's unclear what the impact will be. We probably won't know for years, but I do expect a significant gut punch to local businesses and to JMU itself. I've talked to a lot of business owners this summer and they're scared. I saw on Yelp that as of late July, 60% of restaurants that closed during the pandemic temporarily will never reopen. And we ran a story on the Madison Business Review a couple days ago um, about how Harrisonburg businesses will overcome the loss of football. We talked to Hotel Madison and then Jimmy Madison's and O'Neill's. And at those two restaurants, revenue is down between 50 and 70%. Families not visiting, students going home, that means a demand shock for these businesses and a lot of them simply won't make it through it. And as these businesses struggle or go under or maybe even succeed, the Madison Business Review will cope we'll try and cover all of it. And then from JMU's perspective, it is unclear what will happen with refunds. What we know is that the Breeze reported that in the spring, the university issued 13 million in refunds, and that was for half a semester. But that's likely to be a lot higher now, given that we went online just five days into classes. And one thing that I've been thinking about is all the construction projects JMU has undertaken. We've seen two parking decks, two dining halls, the new College of Business building, and the new basketball arena. And I just don't know how they're going to pay for it. Um, I plan on working in partnership with The Breeze to try and figure out what JMU's debt load looks like and how they're going to try and get through this unknown. Yeah, and so the uh, only real last question I have is once students do come back fully in person, whenever that may be, what sorts of things do you think local businesses and JMU itself will need to do to, uh, to make up for the amount of money they've lost the last few months? That's a great question. I, I wish I knew. I'd, uh, I'd probably make a lot of money if I could figure out exactly <laughs> when students would come back and what that would mean. Um, I, I do think it'll be tough because it's not just businesses that are struggling. There's a lot of people. The unemployment rate as of this morning is 8.4%. There's a lot of people that are out of work, students and their parents. That includes them. And I think it's going to be tough for businesses to hike prices, but of course that might be necessary for some in order to, to make up the money they lost. So um, as far as what businesses will do, I think they'll get creative. Again, I've talked with a lot of business owners and they have some ideas, but um, it, it, it's an unknown at this point when students, or if they even will come back. So we're going to be following it all. All right. All right, great. Well, thank you for being here with us today, James. Uh, we appreciate it and I enjoy talking with you. I appreciate it. You too, Colby. Talk to you soon. Thanks.